LT3496 Triple Output LED Driver by Linear Technology. Welcome to the training module on LT3496 Triple Output LED Driver. This training module introduces LT3496 Triple Output LED Driver and its basic operations. The outline consists of key features and target applications, basic operation of the LT3496, and application circuits. The LT3496 is a triple output DC to DC converter designed to operate as a constant current source and is ideal for driving LEDs. Each of the LT3496's three channels can drive up to eight 500 milliamp LEDs in series enabling it to drive up to 24 by 500 milliamp LEDs at efficiencies up to 96 percent. All three channels are operated by an independent true color PWM signal, enabling each to be dimmed independently to ratios as high as 3000 to 1. A fixed frequency current mode architecture ensures stable operation over a wide range of supply and output voltages. The LT3496 works in buck, boost, or buck boost mode. A frequency adjust pin allows the user to program switching frequencies between 330 kHz and 2.1 MHz to optimize efficiency and external component size. The LT3496 is a triple output DC to DC converter designed for high performance, a true color, PWM, TM dimming, and multi-channel LED lighting applications. By integrating three independent driver channels, the LT3496 provides a space-saving solution to drive multiple LED strings. The flexibility to operate in buck boost or buck boost mode makes the LT3496 feasible in many rugged applications. It can go into RGB lighting, billboards and large displays, automotive and avionic lighting, and constant current sources. The LT3496 uses a fixed frequency current mode control scheme to provide excellent line and load regulation. The oscillator, ramp generator, reference, internal regulator, and UVLO are shared among the three converters. The control circuitry and power switch are replicated for each of the three converters. Current from V and pin is tied to ground. The LT3496 is shut down and draws minimum current from VIN. If the SHDN pin exceeds 1.5 volts, the internal bio circuits turn on. The switching regulators start to operate when the respective PWM signal goes high. The start of each oscillator cycle sets the SR latch, A3, and turns on power switch, Q1. The signal at the non-inverting input of the PWM comparator, A2, is proportional to the sum of the switch current and oscillator ramp. When slope exceeds VC, A2 resets the latch and turns off the power switch, Q1, through A4 and A5. In this manner, A10 and A2 set the correct peak current level to keep the output in regulation. The three LT3496 channels operate independently, but function in the same way. For simplicity, the PWM operation of channel 1 is introduced here. LED1 can be dimmed with pulse width modulation using the PWM1 pin and an external P-channel MOSFET M1. In the configuration of the figure, if the PWM1 pin is pulled high, M1 is turned on by an internal driver A7, and converter 1 operates nominally. If the PWM1 pin is pulled low, converter 1 stops operating, and M1 is turned off, disconnecting the LED string of channel 1, and stops current draw from the output capacitor C2. The VC1 pin is also disconnected from the internal circuitry and draws minimal current from the compensation capacitor CC. The VC1 pin and the output capacitor store the state of the LED1 current until PWM1 is pulled up again. This leads to a high linear relationship between pulse width and output light, 
and allows for a large and accurate dimming range. Traditionally, LED drivers employ a low side LED disconnect approach in which both the high side and low side of each LED string must connect to the LED driver. The figure is a simplified configuration of LT3496 where M1 through M3 are LED disconnect PMOS switches. Because the LED disconnect and current sensing are on the high side of each LED string, the low sides of the LED strings can be tied together in boost or buck boost mode to reduce the number of wires returning to the LED driver. In a boost configuration, each of the low side connections can be returned to ground, allowing a simple one wire LED connection for each LED string. This page gives you information about programming the LED current, which can be done by connecting an external sense resistor, R-Sense, in series with LED load, and setting the voltage regulation threshold across that sense resistor using CTRL input. The CTRL pin should not be left open. The CTRL pin can also be used in conjunction with a PTC thermistor to provide over temperature protection for the LED load. Other features of the LT3496 include open LED protection and under voltage lockout thermal limiting. Open LED protection is provided for all the three converters through OVP1, 2, 3 pins and the internal power switch Q1, Q2, Q3. In the event the LED string is disconnected or fails open, the converter output voltage will increase, causing OVP voltage to increase. When OVP voltage exceeds 1 volt, the power switch Q will turn off and cause the output voltage to decrease. Eventually, OVP will be regulated to 1 volt and the output voltage will be limited. In the event one of the converters has an open LED protection, the other converters will continue functioning properly. The LT3496 has an undervoltage lockout circuit that shuts down all the three converters when the input voltage drops below 2.4 volts. This prevents the converter from switching in an erratic mode when powered from a low supply voltage. The LT3496 can be configured as a buck mode LED driver for applications where the LED voltage is lower than the supply voltage. This figure shows a triple buck mode LED driver. Each channel can drive 500 milliamps of current to its LEDs. Each LED string can have from 8 to 12 LEDs depending on the type. The 2.1 MHz switching frequency minimizes the solution size by allowing the use of low-profile inductors and capacitors. Efficiency can be above 95% for LT3496 buck mode driver. At 120 Hz PWM frequency, the PWM control of this configuration allows 5000 to 1 dimming, as shown in the dimming waveform charts. The LT3496 can be configured as a boost LED driver for applications where the LED voltage is higher than the supply voltage. Here shows a triple boost mode driver that delivers 200 milliamps to each LED string from regulated 12 volts. This configuration can be used for automotive lighting. D4, Q1 through Q3, and R1 through R4 create the battery surge voltage protection circuits to protect the LED string from being damaged by a battery surge voltage. The waveform chart shows the 3000 to 1 PWM dimming waveforms at 120 Hz PWM frequency. Unlike the buck mode driver, the boost mode drivers always require an OVP circuit at the output for open LED protection. In some LED applications, the desired supply voltage range and LED voltage range overlap, thus requiring buck boost mode configuration. This shows a buck boost mode LED driver. Here the switch voltage is the sum of the input voltage and the LED voltage. Therefore, it is necessary to turn off the internal power switch before the input voltage gets too high. It drives four LEDs at 200 milliamps per channel. The circuit monitors the Schottky diode's cathode voltage. The OVP logic turns off main switch when VSC is above 38 volts. 
preventing the switch voltage from rising further. Since no IC pin experiences absolute maximum voltage, the circuit survives the load dump event. The waveform chart shows the 3000 to 1 PWM dimming waveforms at 120 Hz PWM frequency.